Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I am Makeup by Jerry Liz. You can call me Jerry or Geraldine. So I, if you're new here, I do reviews, unboxings, makeup hauls, try on videos, and to do videos, reviews. Did I say that already? If I did, excuse me. I think I repeated myself, but anyways. So what I, I'm doing today is almost like a challenge. I am washing my makeup brushes, but I am putting some soaps to the test. So I am bringing an oldie but goodie back. If you guys haven't seen this or, or used it before, comment down below. It, this is, I'm going back to memory lane here. Have you seen this before? <laughs> So this is the Lava Heavy Duty Hang Cleaner with Moisturizer. I used this soap when I was in school, college, back in the early 2000s. Yes, I'm aging myself, but it's okay. So we used to use this to wash our paint brushes and our hands because when we paint with oil paint, we used to get in acrylic paints, we would get paint in our nails, in our fingers, you know, our inside our fingernails and stuff. So in the brushes too, to take out the oil of the brushes, this was what we used to use. And it's funny because I totally forgot about it. And then one day I remembered because another soap came into the picture after many, many years. And that other soap is the soap. Sote. Okay, not sote, not sote, sote. The sote soap. What the freak? This soap is an OG too. This soap was around when I was a freaking kid. Okay, now, now that is gonna age me big time. This soap was around when my grandma used to wash the clothes by hand on one of those refregadores, whatever they're called, you know, like by hand. She would like literally use the sote soap and rub the clothes with this. I remember this. Shit, in the river with the with the rock, you know, lavando la ropa allí, refregando la ropa with this. Oh my gosh. Uh, what I said was, you know, scrubbing the clothes on the rock on the river. Oh my God, the sote soap. I don't remember even this being called sote because I was little. I don't really, oh my. So TikTok brought this shit back and it was like, oh, oh my God, I remember that soap. And then, so then I said to myself, I wonder if the soap I used when I was in school is still around. I don't even remember how I found it. I think I put, uh, Soap bar, uh, yes, I remember the name. <clears throat> Excuse me, I remember the name and I put lava soap. And it came up, I was so stoked. So I freaking went and I got it. So I found them at Walmart, both of them. So this was the, sh this was so good. I used to take paint off. So I want to put them both to the test to see which one is better. Because this one, this dries my hands and it irritates my hands. That's how strong this stuff is. So we're gonna see which one works better. So let's test them out. Okay, so here are the soaps. This is the lava and this is the sote. Um, this is the sote, it's a huge bar and it's very scented. So um, just taking it out, it irritates my nose. Um, so this is gonna be for that. Here are my brushes. OMG, it's so strong. She'll wear gloves for this. And then here is the lava soap. And I don't remember it being green. Um, and the scent is very mild on this one, so. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna wash this brush here. I'm gonna wet it. I filled up the sink so I'm not wasting water just to show you guys. I saw how dirty it is. And we're gonna try the sote first. Oh, it's throwing some of that. Oh, look at that. All right, so it is getting that stuff out. 
I just don't know if I can handle this scent. It's so strong. Okay. I do have the white one and the white one is not as scented. Okay. Look at that. It did. Wow. It did take out all that makeup. That's pretty clean. Not bad. What do you guys think? Now we're gonna do the lava soap. All right, so here's another brush, pretty dirty, a lot of makeup. Let's get it wet. I always recommend don't ever wet your brushes here. Don't ever sink, dump your brushes into the water. That is a big no-no because your brushes will break um, because they are glued over here. So when you immerse your brushes into the water, you're damaging your brushes. So always wet them. If anything, run the water. This is a great way not to waste water. Um, get them wet first, warm water. And then, you know, use the bar soap. That's what I like. Okay, so far, this one's getting the makeup there. That's working pretty fast. That was faster. I like that it came out really, it, I didn't have to rub. And you know what? This one has a little bit of a texture too. This soap has a little bit of a texture, so that's why it really worked right away. Look at that. Doesn't have a strong scent. Okay. I feel like I need to do a little more with this one. Let me run the water. It could also be the brush, you know, the, the fibers of the brush can make a big difference too. Looks pretty clean. I probably need to rub a little more like right here. But other than that, I feel like it, it came out pretty clean. I actually use a little, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I use to rub my brushes. Let me grab it. I use this. Found this at the, I think it was the Dollar Tree. Actually, my mother-in-law gave me this. My future mother-in-law gave me this. It's, <laughs> it's supposed to be like a sponge, dish sponge, but I use it for my brushes. It works really great. Yeah, that's way better. All right, let's rinse it. Yeah, pretty clean. It's cleaned. And now let's see how they feel. They both feel nice and soft. So overall, I feel like they both work really good. This one has the nice texture. Um, this one, the lava, I just feel like the scent is not so strong. Let me smell it. Oh yeah. I feel like the lava, it's just the smell is so much better. I don't feel like this is gonna, uh, you know, irritate my skin either. It is. It does say moisturizing. If anything, if you wanna do the salt I would say go with the white, not the pink but I'm gonna watch the rest and show you guys how they ended up. So I'm using the lava soap with this really dirty brush. It has a lot of makeup and with my little um, spongy thing, scrubbing thing, whatever it's called. And as you can see, it's taking me a lot to clean the inside of the brush. So it does take more with this one and then I'm using it the saute for the saute okay saute the saute for the other one has a lot of makeup too this one didn't take me as much scrubbing and it did clean it more so i feel like the saute works better for heavier makeup but as you can see on the bar it does leave some of that residue on the bar but it left it really clean 
So for the sponges, I like the sote better because I feel like it takes away all the makeup. It gets the light sponge, little sponge pads really good and clean. For the light sponges, I like to use a little scrubber because it takes away, you know, the pigment on the makeup pads. Um, it leaves them really good, really clean. I'm really impressed. Look at that. Okay, so they're all nice and clean. Um, I even, as you guys saw, I even washed all my sponges. The only thing I don't like about the sote is that it gives, it leaves almost like that foam buildup. So for the little brushes, it doesn't work as great, but it works great for the big brushes that have a lot of makeup. Um, as you can see, it does leave your hands dry. So you wanna make sure you put some nice cuticle cream or oil after that. Uh, so I wanted to share with you guys, the lava soap does say, uh, gets extra dirty hands really clean, cleans any dirt, grime, grease, oil, paint, ink, and adhesive. So uh, I'm not sure, I mean, like I said, I used it when I was in art school. So it does make sure you don't get anything on the rim of the brush where the wood in, um, gets where the wood is. So, you know, keep water out of there, but it works great for really gross like buildup and stuff. And the salt is more of a high, you know, like it says, high quality. I don't know about that, but it's for washing clothes. So there's the difference in those two they were they both work great the sote is very strong so it does kind of irritate my hands a little bit but i like them both honestly uh but what do you guys think have you ever tried the lava have you ever tried the sote what is your opinion uh, this is the white one i do have the white one the scent on this one is not as strong as the pink one so if you're gonna try it get the white one because it's not as strong so there you have it. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I hope you enjoyed this video.